Okay, in this video we're going to look at how we can use a linear approximation to approximate um, a value. So here we want to approximate in part A sine of 18 pi over 17. So just again, kind of a sort of the ge geometry idea. Um, so I'm going to graph sine here real quick. So recall sine of 0 is 0. So when we plug pi over 2 in, sine of pi over 2 is equal to 1. Uh, sine of pi is equal to 0. So then at 3 pi over 2, we're down here at negative 1. OK, so 18 pi over 17, that's just a little bit bigger than pi. So 18 pi over 17, that's just going to be 1 and 1 17th pi. So let's stick it in there somewhere, you know, not quite to scale. But let's suppose that this is um, the x coordinate of 18 pi over 17. Again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out the value of the y coordinate. That's what we would like to know. So, you know, if you had a calculator, of course, you would just plug this in. Uh, the idea on how to use a linear approximation is what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a kind of a point nearby that we can easily evaluate. And again, I know what sine of pi is. I'm going to find the equation of the tangent line there. So there's our tangent line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug that number 18 pi over 17 um, into my line. And the idea is the y value on the line is going to approximate the true y value on the curve. Okay, so that's kind of the geometry idea. So again, main idea, what we're going to do here, we're just going to find the equation of the tangent line at the point pi comma zero. So we'll find the equation of the tangent line at uh, pi comma zero. That'll be the first thing that we'll do. And then once we get that, we'll plug in x equals 18 pi over 17 to approximate the true value. Alright, so to get the equation of the tangent line, well I know it's y minus the y coordinate, which is 0. We have to figure out the slope, but we'll take x minus the x coordinate, which is just pi. And now all we have to do to figure out the slope is we just take the derivative. But again, we're working on, you know, the graph of y equals sine x. So if I let my function be sine x, we know that the derivative of sine x is just cosine x. And to get the slope, okay, well we have to plug in the x-coordinate of pi. So f prime of pi, that's going to be cosine of pi, but cosine of pi just equals negative 1. So now I know my slope. It's going to be negative 1, so then x minus pi. And again, this is now, so we've now done step 1. This is now the equation of our tangent line. And now all we have to do is put in the value 18 over 17 um, into our line to approximate the true value. So the approximation will be, okay, so again, I'm just plugging in 18 pi over 17, and I'm subtracting pi. And we can write that as 17 pi over 17 if we want to get common denominators. So we'll have negative 1, let's see, 18 pi minus 17 pi is just 1 pi over 17. So when we simplify that, we just get negative pi over 17. And now we're done, okay? This is now the approximation. What we've done is we've plugged in, we've put the value um, 18 pi over 17 into our the equation of our line and we've got that that equaled negative pi over 17 but again the idea is the y value on the line is roughly equal to the true y value so now we have our approximation it says negative pi over 17 is roughly equal to the true value which would be sine of 18 pi over 17 and that's that's all there is to it